Did you make that already? What? The crowdfund or whatever the fuck? Yeah, it's, it's the Matrino. I'll explain all the stuff later. Cool. All right, let's say we get into it. Yeah, let's get through it. <laughs> did you even ask them if they're ready? Yeah, I just did. You oh. see it? Oh no, I, I'm not like. I have a tower on. I'm getting changed. So. Oh, it's a lewd stream. I see. I see what it is. Yeah. Exactly. Now, why do you think you're streaming, not me? <laughs> you're just there shirtless. Uh, yeah. Shirtless rubbing your nipple. What? I mean, what? Well, now I have pants on, but I didn't have pants on before. Uh, do you think I care that we're on stream and I'm saying that? No. No, I don't know. Hey, no. It, it, my stream says uh, mature audiences only, so, you know, just yeah. gotta make sure. Well. Alright, it's the best of, best of five, right? That's what we're going with? Uh, Close enough. Yes, if it's 2-2, two, two, it's a best yeah, two, Okay, two, so it's it's a best of five. Alright, in the bottom right-hand corner, claiming the purple Protoss, it is from Born Ghost, it's Assam. I'm assuming that's his name. And in the top left, we have the red Protoss. It is All In's X Total Havoc. X Total Havoc. I don't know. I, I feel like I've, I've never said X Total Havoc, but that's true. There is an X there. There is an X there. I don't know if it's just there for design or because Total Havoc was probably taken or I don't know. Could be. But could I know nothing anything. about Assam. I know these are both plat players and I could tell by his location of his gateway, he's definitely platinum. What is that what supposed is that? to mean? Wow, already, no already one puts it there. Already taking shots like immediately. The hell. I don't, it's not that, okay. I only <laughs> take shots when shots are it's a okay. It's a PVP. You don't need to wall off. Oh, I guess oh, by you kind of I just found out yesterday by White Ninja. Uh, Assam is going double. Um, that means cheese. He's going double uh, gas, which means cheese. Okay, sure. I don't. I don't know PVP, so I'm not gonna make any calls until things happen. I'm Pretty sure uh, that was PVT, but yeah. I'm. I'm. Uh, that's completely different. Then you can't. I know you, but he's going double gas so quickly. That you. You might just go double gas in PVP. I don't know. I don't know. We're not experts yeah, here. Havoc's not going double gas. Why well, he's doing he's a different going, opener? Okay. Well, okay, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It looks pretty close. He's only got he's, he's only got four on gas, gas anyway. He doesn't even have all on. Okay, as, as I said, he's putting more on gas. Go the okay, fuck so calm yourself. That was crazy. Cog was. So thanks for following. I don't know if that's supposed to happen or not. No, it was definitely not. Um. All right, Havoc is getting his second refinery. Okay, so let's see. So let, 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 let's put it this way. Even if it's not cheese, Assam has more gas now. Is that what, you're, that's what we're going to go with? And we'll see what he does with more gas. He has less minerals, more gas. We'll see where his tech goes. Which also means his uh, Cybernetic score is later. Yes. Um, it does. Where is his warp gate? Warp gate. Uh, oh, wait. No warp gate for you. Wait, does he have... Okay, there we go. I was going to say, like, Total Havoc's warp gate seemed really late. Because... His cybernetic score was done way before Assange and his warp gate, warp gate started later. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Maybe it's just a mechanical issue. But... It's probably just a mechanical issue. Or but yeah, build, yeah. Build ex execution, that's what I meant. Be a build execution. Alright, so Stark comes out, he's gonna poke away at this probe. The probe's gonna come in and what did he see? He... I don't know how... He didn't see... He, even, he never saw, saw the gases at all, so he has no idea what the gas count is for uh, Total Havoc is. But... Right. Um, and Total Havoc on the other side, did he scout the gases? He's got one of the gases, not the other gas, so... Both of them are basically playing in the dark. Did he see the Robo? Yeah, either? Robo facility coming out. Yeah, he didn't and see the Robo. Guys. So both both players playing completely in the dark. And yeah, you got you got a sum going Robo before expansion, and you got expansion coming out for Havoc. So, um... Assam, I'm guessing he's gonna put on a little bit of pressure, because this is a late expansion. Well, it's not late, but it's comparatively late to what Havoc is doing. Havoc actually was expecting some pressure. He had a shield battery growing up, and he just canceled it. But I think he's, he's expecting something to show up, but um, nothing yeah. happened. He's yet. also supply blocked and not making a pylon. Or is he? Oh no, he is. Okay. Um. So it's still no tech here from Total Havoc. I don't even see a Twilight Council or anything. He's making a lot of stalkers, so I was expecting him to go into like Twilight Council, go to Blink or something. But yeah, he does have a lot of gas too, so I'm expecting Twilight Council at some point. Yeah. Um, Robo uh, facility, the only coming be... out so far from the Robo facility for Assam is just this uh, observer. Let's see what he goes afterwards. Because if he starts making immortals against a uh, stalker heavy armor from Total Havoc, he's in really good shape. Because the yeah. economy was like Total Havoc's uh, 
Nexus is up a little bit faster, but not too much faster. And there's no tech with this. It's two gateways yeah, and a cyber two gateways. I don't see this working by having. Well, let's see what he is. It's probably some light pressure. Let's see what he does with this light pressure. I know, but he's got a. I would think he has to make some sort of buildings. Yes. He would. Some, some things that make other things is usually pretty good. Yes, in things that make other things. Technical term. Um, I'm like I'm like looking around to see if there's like an extra uh, base somewhere, yeah, or yeah, extra somewhere. um like tech hidden. But now, he walks yeah, in there, and loses good. one stalker, uh, and the he wrong turns around. Zodi coming out for havoc. Okay, so there's his tech, there's his tech. but his tech is but so far behind, behind, right? Assam's so tech is he's got a robot facility yeah, already, his, his right. own, and a twilight count on his own. He's gonna have to be up like yeah, two yeah, or three mortals by the time yeah, Cold Havoc has any. Yeah, it's ridiculous. On another note. On a completely unrelated note, uh, me and uh, everyone in the room ordered uh, Amazon Fresh. Yeah. And it was the 25 cent coffee, and I don't drink coffee, but mm -hmm. since it was 25 cents and I'm Jewish, uh, I bought it. Okay. It's fabulous. Is it good anyway, coffee? Uh, you, uh, what's it called? Uh, Sam sees everything <laughs> because he has a observer on the other side of the map. Yep. You got three more gateways coming out. For, oh no, two more gateways coming out for Havoc. The yeah. Robo is done. I uh, got a Forge coming out for Assam. All right. Yeah, and uh, so the tech of choice for Assam will be Twilight, uh, Twilight Council with Zealot um, Charge. I think Charge is awesome. Charge is pretty awesome. But let's see what uh, Total Havoc decides to make here. He's making Immortals, which is always good. And yes. does he have his own Twilight? He doesn't have his own Twilight either. So he's <laughs> just got Immortal tech that's in three gateways. So I think he needs more tech. He needs more By stuff. By the way, I'm not the only one throwing shade at the wall. Fire, fire, fur crag in the chat is like, if only Havoc went adept. Look at that wall. That is true. You you need the you need the wall to uh, like to you get to block off the wall. That's a good point. Yes. Because you could like do the shade block off thing. All right. Here well, comes. Havoc is ahead in workers. So if he does hold an attack from Assam, he will mm -hmm. be ahead. Yep. So it does throw um, out the observer. So. I like the other the other pylon so that uh, if Assam attacks and just kills the pylon, then yeah. War Prism coming out, which means there will be attack coming from. All right, he does see the charge, so that's good. Wait, what's the what's the will hockey? Will it get first? out? Oh, will it get out? Will it get out? Oh no. Wait, what's the hockey to follow again? I can't remember now. Is it Control F? I don't know. I haven't done this in so long. I'm a terrible caster. Hear me more. All right, Havoc does have a Twilight Council, but nothing that's there's nothing they're gonna be you're gonna be able to research that's gonna be in time for this. A Templar Archives he has queued up. Um, this is gonna be a scary attack by Assam. Yeah, and plus one's finishing up. Oh, this is a pretty good, yeah, it's gonna be pretty good timing with uh, Charge Zealots and plus one. This yeah. is smart. The two gateways that he's building is gonna bottleneck the Zealots. That will, that will help. But I still don't, I still don't help. think there's enough mass here for a Total Havoc. It supply wise is fine, but this plus one is gonna be. Strong. Um, how far along is this? Yeah, Probably have archives. Maybe if this Templar archives finishes and he could like warp in a couple archons as a chance. His charge is only like just started, but the immortals are not attacked. Okay, they're the Zelda are coming in and getting definitely, definitely helps. Yeah. Honestly, if there was no bottleneck here, yeah, they, but... he would have died. Yeah, because the Zelda are fighting Zelda, and that's good for Delavic. Yeah, and plus two coming out, getting all right. So the gateway goes down. Still a bottleneck. Yeah, good, good choke point here. Zelda are just gonna go down for pretty much free. I wouldn't say free, but they're they're gonna go yeah, down inefficiently. <laughs> yeah, very inefficient. And, I, and now yeah. Havoc has a bigger army. Yeah, and now he can jump on top of yeah. everything here. He kills that. He kills a uh, mortal. He's gonna get another mortal, mortal I think, too. He's definitely ahead. Yeah, that was actually that was really a really good hold. Oh, this immortal's free. That immortal's like, <laughs> wait a second, where am I going? Wait. I'm um, lost. Yeah, so the plus one wasn't effective because it's amazing how important the positioning of buildings is in oh, yeah. just Protoss, period. Well, and especially if you're a charge light heavy, charge light heavy needs a lot of surface area, and he just didn't have any surface area to get in there. And now Havoc's going to have Archons, which is going to be awesome! And yep, there goes two more two Archons coming up, so Assam. the Immortal Archon army of PvP is starting to take shape here. Yes. But there's a third there's base a third here for Assam, so like if if Total Havoc doesn't expand, well he's expanding now, but like he could, like if he doesn't turn around and do some pressure right now, Assam could catch back up because his economy would be a little, a little better. There's an echo on the stream. 
Yeah, your my voice is echoing on your side. Oh shit, my bad. Okay, quick fix that. I, I can hear it, but it's not only it's that bad. Just where, where are your headphones? <laughs> that better, everyone? Well, it depends if I'm talking or not. But I don't I, I don't hear anymore, so it should be okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, people. It is control F. I was right. See. I think it's it's hold control F, right? Yeah, I have to hold down control F to follow. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I was I was like couldn't remember what it was. Um, so Havoc should be attacking right now. But he's just gonna he's chill. Gonna out. You know what? When you're ahead, get more ahead, right? But yeah, then again, is, I don't know if he's getting. Get ahead, the problem is he's not, not getting more ahead because the uh, Asami is plus two right now, and he and he's and getting he plus three. He's getting plus three right now. Now double yeah. forge is coming out. Yeah, so and Asam. He's gonna catch. Oh shit! This is a great drop by Asam, or a great warping. I am blind. My bad. <laughs> but yeah, fourteen workers killed, fifteen workers killed. So that Zella warp in the main is gonna do a lot of work here for Asam. Yeah, and these zealots are gonna just crush the zealots. Of a yeah, they're they're not gonna they're not gonna win, but they're gonna trade very very well. Yeah, it's yeah. The havoc is in a bit of trouble. He's, he's have down to three before havoc even has one one. Yeah, he's gonna be down to thirty workers of fifty four and down three upgrades. Yeah, so havoc has to understand now that he's way behind and he has to attack. Yeah, he needs now. to find a way to take really really favorable engagements. Um, Storm will help with that. Maybe Archons will help that. How does Storm do against um? I, I feel like it doesn't do that uh, well, but it does it's okay. Not, it doesn't do better than against Terran armies. Zerg armies. Yeah. But Havoc's gonna try to move across the map now and see what he can get done. He did lose a lot of economy, so... He has to. He has to. He's gotta, he's gotta do something. Army. Um, to. I think no minimally, he has to take out the third base. <laughs> minimally? I think he has to take out more than the third base. I think he has to take out the third base and take out most of the army. There's also a fourth going up down the bottom left. Yeah, which the fourth is not important, in my opinion. But uh, luckily for Havoc, Assam has no vision of any of this yet, and he's only just now getting vision of it. Alright, so, so he's going to be in a go? good spot. Oh, kill the pylon, kill the pylon, kill the pylon, kill the pylon. Yeah, uh, okay, most of that. Uh, this is going to be a through. kind of an awkward fight. There's two Archons in the back just dancing. Uh, this is... I think Havoc wins this. Good warp in of Zealots. Maybe? I, I guess? Yeah, no, Havoc. How many Immortals uh, are there? It's, it's, only, it's only two Immortals. These stalkers are doing way better than I thought they would. Well, the zealots have taken the warping zealots have been really good. I don't understand how he won that fight. Honestly, the armies look um, he really more, similar. He had more surface area. Any more zealots? I don't understand PVP. I <laughs> stuff a zerg Well, PVP is it's really like I know like like pros engages that did not look like it should have worked work for him because I feel like plus three attack on Protoss army versus no attack on Protoss army. Shouldn't go that evenly or in pro and hell to have well, favor. It's, well, if um, Assam was uh, just instead of killing the zealots, and now he's he got to run though. Like mm. ignoring them and just moving forward, he would have won that fight. It's pretty much whoever kills the more of the ranged army in Protoss versus Protoss wins, pretty much, from what I can tell. And this uh, is okay. Yeah, get the warpers. Because like from what I remembered, or like from what Drumhead was telling me, like. Stalkers were useless in PvP matchup and PvP Protoss engagements, but I don't um, know if that's accurate because I thought it was like well, was just the Archons, the Archons, and the uh, Immortals are really what matter. And I guess yeah, Havoc had more. Behind. He needed to do more than that. <laughs> yeah, Havoc, Havoc still well, he even know the worker count, but he didn't know about the fourth base in the bottom left, which is uh, and the warp prism is gonna go down. Problematic. Good catch. But yeah, Havoc's still down 20 supply. Alright, so this plus one plus one will help if you can get it up. Yeah. And uh, what's Assam going for? Oh, he's going for shield upgrades. So I guess that'll help the Archons a lot. Yes, it will. But he did like his Archon count reset. Well, Havoc's Archon count was reset as well, so. Uh, what's the units looking like? Two Archons for three Archons, two Immortals for three Immortals. It's, it's actually pretty similar. The, the, the supply differential is mostly in these 10 Zells, which was doesn't really do that much. Because Zelda's kind of just melt into Archons, right? Um, it's going to be interesting what happens here. What do you think is going to happen? I, I don't know. Like, I thought Total Havoc was dead with that attack, and then he kills the third and the army with a 
three four um upgrade def uh deficit i was just like so confused i'm just gonna let it play out we're just gonna, we're just gonna see what happens yeah um the zealot, I like the heavy zealot army, but I saw. Do you though? Because I, the I don't. I, I don't like the heavy zealot army because they just get shredded by the archon, um, the the archon splash. Because they he don't they don't they don't have any defensive upgrades. They kind of just melt. Now, if he gets plus two plus two here, he'll be close enough to where it's not the upgrade difference won't be. Actually, there really isn't an upgrade difference if he gets plus two plus two. Yeah, if he gets there, he, for sure. He just because I don't think the shield is there. more important. I don't think the shield is going to be more important than. I, I mean, I'd rather have dude, plus, I, plus. I have no idea what sh what shield upgrades do really in uh, PvP. I'm assuming they're just for the archons to tank. But like, I don't know. I don't. I don't know their effect to the level I do in ZvZ with like carapace upgrades. You know, like roaches versus roaches. Yeah. But I'm sure they. I'm sure they affect something. And my voice just cracked. <laughs> He's still going through puberty. Yeah. Um. Twenty six years old. Quickly. This is not a good engagement. He's not going to do that. This is not going to go well. I mean, you you say that, but. This is not going to go well. But we, I said that last time. <laughs> and yeah, it went we, really well. I didn't say that last time. I thought Havoc was going to win last time. He had three upgrades below and uh, less matter. supply. I know how... You know PvP? I, I, I actually do not believe you know PvP as well as you think you know PvP. <laughs> no, no, no. I know PvP engagements. I can tell what an engagement is going to look like. Okay. I don't know All right. Sure. Fine. Fine. I'm telling you. I thought I thought I did. Things. I thought it was simple, but I I'm I'm incorrect. I'm, I'll tell we're, you honestly, we're probably like, making a bunch of processes in chat cringe with our like attempted analysis of this game. Yeah, probably. It's like Wardy and trying to cast anything. Oh, this just is, kidding. He engages. <laughs> oh yeah, he does have a freaking. That's good. He has an. Oh, this is gonna be awkward. The army's moving out. Um, let's see what let's see what Assam decides to do here when the army hits the third. Is he gonna? Is this gonna be base race? Or is he? If he recalls, that's the wrong. That's the wrong thing to do. He recalls here. It's the wrong thing to do. It's the wrong thing to do. It's you think it's the wrong thing to do? You, you yes. sound very, very confident in this analysis. Absolutely. He should have just went for the base race. It's three bases. There's four. And now he's recalling. Smart. All right. So does Havoc know about the fourth base yet? Still, he probably thinks no. he's ahead in bases. Yeah, he's no probably. idea. Wait, unless he did he see the army coming in from the left hand side? Because if he saw the army coming from the left hand side before he warped out, then he would know that he had the warp to there. But I don't think he saw it. Uh, I don't think he saw it either. That was really well played by Havoc. He knew when to get out, which is, yeah, smart. Yes, he did. He should not have come back. I don't agree. But uh, here comes 3 3 coming out for Havoc. So after this, he will be equal or better on upgrades. He'll be better on upgrades. That's better. I yeah. Well, I mean yes, better. Because I'm guessing the uh, armor is better than shields in general for. Yeah, I would think so. Since every okay, so well, everything right has. Now, the funny thing is, Assam's in a much better position right now because there's gonna be no surface area that having. I mean, the surface area is bad for both of these charge lot heavy armies right now. That's a lot yeah, of Sam charge lots both both sides. Havoc has got to get like <laughs> yeah. Oh, they are guys, they're so confused. Oh, the stalkers are kind of stuck. I, oh, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, this they is both, not, this both of them were like, no, I don't, this is too awkward. I don't want to fight here. Yeah, this is very awkward. Give me a big wide open field that we could charge into each other with. Is he going to charge up this ramp? Charging up this ramp is probably a bad idea. Uh, you can get some free shots here, but... I don't know. I, I mean, going up a ramp is never better than... You know what I kind of like in this army? The random DTs for Assam. Because they do output a lot of damage if they don't get targeted. Out of all the games I thought would go long, this would not be the one. No, I thought this would go long. It's, right, ga it's game so one, man. You gotta game one. The archons long. are in front. He's uh, gonna try to bust up there. Oh, freaking Havoc's gonna destroy this. Half the army. That oh, half the army's not moving up. You're right. Oh, and he's fighting into this concave, and there's just wait, archons. Wait, is there a observer? There is an observer. There's there's three observers. And yeah, this army is just getting shredded, attacking up this ramp into a concave. And extra warp in of- Oh, and the stalker flank from the back, I didn't see that. Yeah. This is- uh, and Now that, all Havoc should be doing is attacking. That should be game, in theory. Yes, if he if he attacks, he wins. It's just a move for glory. He's gonna go, he's gonna go for the third base again. Meanwhile, the fourth is always mined out, but <laughs> he's gonna go for the third base again, See, even Fortneg said base trade and Assam would have won. See? I know my shit. Sure. Okay. 
Uh, well, at least when it comes to engagements and decision making. Okay, well, here when it comes... comes to, when it comes to strategy and builds, that's I'm lowest on the totem pole in the entire clan. Well, he's going to take out the third again. Um, there is no army here for Hassan to really contest this if Havoc decides exactly to fight it. Go, there we go. Havoc. Yeah, he, he realizes, wait a second, I have more Archons than you have Zealots. Let three, me go three, just walk three, through. Three, zero, three. Yep, and the Archon is going to stomp through this army, and I think it sounds finally dead. And there it is, GG, he's oh, going to tap out. Well, I was wrong about shields. We were both wrong about shields. What about Rom shields? and Yeezus said shields are better with Shields are better? Oh. Yeah, with Dude. this army. All right, so Havoc wins game one. Good job, Havoc. Dude, I have no idea. Game two about is that. between... Who is it between? Daisy? Uh -huh. Daisy? Is it... Where is it? I, I had it scrolled it's up. It's Catalyst. It's Catalyst. Oh, we should have Catalyst on Catalyst. Yeah, that would have been funny. All right, so I think they pick, though, because loser picks. Why not? Yeah, I was right. I was talking because drum was telling me that Zell's kind of just like suck in PvP, and now he's agreeing. With me. Well, they <laughs> suck in Zealots suck in PvP because they all just get shredded yeah. by the Arc Gods. Espe yeah, oh, especially yes. when they now don't have like suck. when there were now three. Suck, but but when there wasn't as many Archons, they were really good because they were a good tank. I <sighs> sure. Well, okay. Not really good. Wait, wait, not really good. But like they were. You know what? Good. Let's let's get the analysis in here. Let's get. I see. Oh, he's not on the chat. I was like, well, bring drum in for the post game analysis, but he's not. He's not online. Poop. Personally. Dude, we should have. That's what we need. That's the next level. Yeah. We need. We need an analysis desk for people to like tell us, you know, why we were completely wrong. Yes. <laughs> All right. <I laughs> Who's next? Callus versus better, who? Callus and Kaidos. 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 I don't know. Where is Catalyst? I got him. Don't worry. You got him. Okay. There's three different tags. There's there's a lot of them. Yeah. Um, it's annoying. Yeah, he's game two. Purge is game three. Four to Nugs is game four. But we're playing all the matches. If let's say we go three zero or they go three one. Which actually would be all four matches, but you know what I mean. Yes, I, I get what you're saying. Wait, so do we decide yeah, who the, do we decide who the uh, ace match is? I thought I was game three. Catalyst, Purge is game three. Purge is, I mean, Catalyst isn't, yeah, he's diamond two. Fields are or good. diamond three, actually, I'm more, but. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I'm learning, I'm learning about PvP. Chris Chad GMs, man. But like oh, this is actually yeah. fair because Twitch chat is better than me at PvP, so it's ah. I'm not even like. <laughs> yeah, I'm all work spiffy. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Hmm. <laughs> Jobs like my work, my uh, I'm all work spiffy because I came from yeah. work and didn't change. Spiffy boy. Yeah. You have 29 viewers, right? Nice. Like, I, yeah. I do. I indeed do. Also, why is my chat like weirdly? Backwards. I don't know. Oh, like, I, I, I don't. I can't see the bottom of my chat. I can only see the bottom of my chat in OBS. Fuck. Dude, I I absolutely hate Edge and Chrome and all of this. Oh, there we go. My chat wasn't scrolled. All right, so they're gonna have two minutes. Um, I'm gonna get a carrot and hummus because. Okay. I got snacks. Okay. How do I how do I pop this chat out? What did what did they? What did Twitch I don't know. do? It's fine for me. I have no idea. Uh, I'm gonna do my dashboard. Oh, so, by the way, guys, um, I should put. It's gonna be too many delayed, but in case you haven't heard, in the All Inspiration Discord, I posted up a Matcharino page for a tournament we're gonna hold in two weeks. Um, we're gonna try something new here this this year for uh, WCS because we thought about this last for Austin, but we didn't actually do it. Um, since we have a whole bunch of members, right? And people want to see all in members go out and do cool things. Logan, you better shut the fuck up. Uh, okay. <laughs> so we are doing a Matcharino with just crowdfunded, you know, prize pool. 
with all the money going to the winner, um, paying for at least part of the trip to Montreal for WCS. So if you guys would like to join up and or increase that match, uh, that um, that prize pool, find us in the uh, All Inspiration Discord at the top and announcements. There should be a page there. You go in there, drop some cash, and uh, hopefully we'll get someone to go to WCS who wouldn't normally really go. It's our way of like a soft sponsorship, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's say we're going to Dreamcatcher, and Logan's not here. <laughs> oh shit, sorry. Ah. You, you didn't miss much, you're good. Don't worry about it. Oh, they're not here. <laughs> yeah, no, Catalyst said he wanted to. Yeah, yeah. Um, all I saw was someone said Dreamcatcher, so I clicked on Dreamcatcher. Alright. I'll be right back. I just need to watch my care. It sounds dirty, but it's not. Dude, what, what did he do? What the fuck did he just say? <sighs> you know what my, my biggest, like, peeve about casting Clan Wars is? I have the two minute chat delay, so when I'm stuck here by myself, I can't talk to chat. I just look at you two minutes delayed. And the thing is, if I respond to stuff in chat two minutes delayed, I have to say everything that I'm responding to, or else people won't know what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, I guess I gotta move my webcam. Or put a background behind the chat. Ah, eh, whatever. You guys figure it out. Hello. I guess while while we're here, you could you could check out my wall of nerd shit. You oh, I want to see wall of nerd shit. Okay, I now have all my 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 growing collection of Blizzard plushies, and like I have a pylon in there, and I have a fucking little little Jim Rayner here from BlizzCon last or two years ago. Two years ago. <laughs> I need I need uh I need more shit. I don't know. I just I gotta figure out what what BlizzCon gives us this year, because every year they'd have like some stupidly cute fucking StarCraft thing. <laughs> Yeah, thank you all I wish for I can go. I'd go every year if I live in California, which I want to live in. The problem is trying to get tickets is really hard. Because, <laughs> like, last time I went, it was, like, I signed up, got into the, the like, list, and it was sold out in three minutes. <laughs> and this year, um, Mode got in, and he was the only one to get in out of six of us. So he got four tickets. It was, like, it's fucking yeah. hard. It's hard to get into BlizzCon. But, it's hard being a Blizzard nerd. All right, you can yeah. go now. So I think this could be a Terran versus random, so I'm hoping it's a Zerg. <laughs> so I know what's going on. What are you eating? Did I just lose my chat? Where did it go? Oh no, there it is. Okay. Yeah, so like my, my pop out, for some reason when I was using um, Edge, yeah. it like was hiding the gear icon underneath. I don't know why, like I would like scroll down and it wouldn't get there. Huh. Um, We're not removing the delay. Shut up. And then the... I mean, we could if everyone's friendly with it, but we'll just leave it for now. We could. But, um, and then on Chrome, I randomly leave my leave the chat room over and over again. I don't know why. It's just really strange. Uh -huh. So I'm stuck using Microsoft Edge to, to be in chat rooms. It's really That's silly. It's not that bad. It's not that bad, but it's just like, oh, I have to use something that's not what I usually use and all my preferences are saved and you know, stuff. Yeah, I feel you. Dude, these weekend fights are going to be unbelievable. Who's fighting? I don't even Dude, see it. Demetrius Johnson. Mm -hmm. and, oh, yeah, I did uh, see that one. The other dude is also a really good fighter. 
who he's beaten before, but it's going to be a really good fight. And then uh, quickly before we announce, uh, it's TJ Dillashaw versus Cody Garbrandt, who had their first fight, which ended in a knockout. But the other guy also knocked him out in practice when they were on the same team. So it's going to be interesting. Anyway. Sounds good. I don't I don't know enough about USC to even like know what you're talking about. It's but small I... guys that have a lot of action. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. In the bottom so... right-hand corner, I don't know my left and right. I was like, I had to figure it out for a second. Playing the purple Terran, we have them all in. It is Catalyst. And then top left, we have the, I don't know why I can't speak, Red Protoss. He is from Gosu with a cross over the O. It is born Gosu Kaidos. Is it, is it O from like, is it like Swedish? Or I don't know what it is. It's like, is it know. Norse? <laughs> I couldn't tell you if I wanted to. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what alphabet it's from. Uh, but so before this game, Kratos was a random, and he ran into Protoss, and then he also probe scouted. So Catalyst knows exactly what race he's playing against. So no, no craziness going on. Um, doesn't want to hide it. So he's gonna just show show his hand, you know. So we'll see what happens. Again, we have no Zerg in this matchup with two Zergs casting. Uh, so we're just gonna let it ha play out, and then we'll, uh... That's just the way it is. Just the way it is. Do we have any, like, guaranteed Zergs? Oh, we got um, Sauce playing, okay. And then, uh, No, not Sauce. Sauce isn't playing. Oh, he's not playing? Wait, who's playing No, then? uh, they subbed him out today. No? Uh, someone else playing. Kill me, oh, guys. I think he's Zerg, though. I think he's Zerg. Kill me, because I played Sauce before, I so I, 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 I knew he was Zerg. Damn it, alright. Yeah. Well, we're gonna wing it then. We're gonna pretend that we know the matchup, and we're gonna do everything play by play and no analysis. Yeah. So they're. So um, basically gonna be Rifkin. I should stop. I should stop shooting on casters. My bad. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, Reaper does come out first for Callus. He's gonna take out that probe and go across the map. Uh, he does have a full scout off of this SCV he went across with, so he's gonna see basically everything. The timings of the gas. We're talking the about crappy casters. I mean, Coltan. No, hey, hey, I didn't say crappy. I just said he doesn't have the deepest yeah. analytical casting. Okay. Coltan is a beast. I love Coltan. To be fair, there's not many casters pocket. that are very good. Like, there are only a few people I, I really think are good deep analytical casters. Um, so, yeah. You know who the best was back in the day? Idrid was the best at analytical casting. Ah, uh, he was very good. Like, Idrid like knew, follow. like, he knew the game so well and he was, like, I don't know, yeah. Yeah, but he was also extremely fucking biased. He was, but he knew the insides and outs of the game. Wow, that that Reaper goes down. That SCV oh, lived. I just realized I. Wow. Okay, he went in, saw the whole thing, and left. The Reaper gave his life for the SCV. Stargate uh, and Gateway going down for Kaido. Yeah, and he uh, Catalyst didn't see it right at all. No, yeah, he put it down right after the no. Reaper died. Okay. You have a bunker going down. Yeah, probably but, just for safety. For the Kata. The Kata. The Kata. We... I always want to cast Kata. Catalyst on Catalyst, but it never actually yeah. happens. Yeah. I wish I had a, a map named after me. But what would, what would the boo map be? It would just be like a giant black circle. I don't, I don't know. Dark. <laughs> like a haunted be, theme circle. No, no, no. You know how there is a... There's, there should be a, Hall played, a Halloween map. On the, in the Plat Diamond tournament yesterday, we played on one of the maps. We played on the one with all the turrets. Oh, yeah. Oh that's in the, that's, is that actually in the active. that's in and the team liquid map cool, contest, right? What? There's a team liquid map the team liquid map contest, right? Wardy T Wardy, one, yeah. Well, yeah, but like the Wardy tournament is the is using the maps from team yes, liquid map contest, yes, right? Yes, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And those are actually active, right? <laughs> those actually like will kill you. Yeah, no, they actually will. I didn't know. <laughs> so you can't. It's unbelievable. So, oh, specials on a team now. Anything special on? No, Predator. Predator Esports. Predator Esports. So are we gonna get Solar? Uh, do you have the money? <laughs> I wish. You have the money. Don't. You don't understand how much it costs to actually like, sign know, legitimate know, players. <laughs> but if, no. if you don't have the money, I don't have the money. The Oracle right, two, comes in gets two. go down. Uh, yeah. Because Man, that that buff to SCV health or nerf was it a nerf to Oracle damage that makes it so yeah, three yeah. shots? That really yeah. that really changes it. Yeah, because both of them are at one health. Oh, those SCV. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna go target it down. Get a couple more. The Marines are gonna pop back over to try to save it. Only gets four or five so far. Five. If it doesn't die, then yeah. If it doesn't oh. die, it's all right. But oh, 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 scary. Okay. 
little scared. He gets five. They're fast as fuck. Um, so what else is coming out for our Phoenix? You got Moon Gateways Kaidos. coming out. You got a Twilight Council coming out for Kaidos. Engineering Bay coming out for Catalyst. It looks like he's just going to go Marine Tank. Boo, are you excited for the all invitational group that we're going to have, which is going to be between Boo, P. Sosa, Purge, and me? That sounds that sounds awful. amazing for you. No, it's it, it just sounds like I have to play P. Sosa at his <laughs> quote unquote 4.3. Uh, <laughs> actually, no, yeah. I know I know how to be P. Sosa now. That's fine. Well, the difference between me and P. Sosa is like night and day, so it's going to be fucking hilarious. Ugh. No, but, you, but I think you're scary at Pizza. So, I mean, it's completely off topic. But I think you're scary because the builds you do are like hard counter me. Out of this fucking world. I beat Gale Force yesterday. Really nice. In the tournament. All right, so Kaidos is going for Templar Archive and making a Void Ray out of that Stargate. So interesting Sexy. choice there. Um, taking a, trying to take a third base over on the right hand side. Kalos drops a scan. He does see the Void Ray, so I wonder if that tells me anything. Um. Couple shield batteries in the natural and in the main. I guess that's to deal with drops and stuff. Charge coming out for Kaidos as well. What's the army looking like here for Kaidos? Just Sea Shank Marine? Yeah, just straight Sea Shank Marine. There's a lot of Sea Shanks actually. That's one, two, three, five, Ooh. five Sea Shanks. Wow, do you see that carcass? <laughs> I didn't see where the carcass go. Jesus Christ. I like our all. I actually haven't looked at that. I like the spinning all in logo. Yeah, because it used to be all. It used to have a white background, and now it doesn't have a white background. I want to know how Born Ghost who got an octopus. I actually like it. It's just I, I want to know how they. Uh, got think they octopus. paid someone to do it. I don't know. Oh, don't ask me. Yeah, but why an octopus? Ask Colt later. I, I, I actually do like it. I'm not even shitting on it. I really like it. It's like you know, it's artistic. Um. Are octopuses born Gosu? <laughs> I don't. I don't. Honestly, you're probably thinking way too far into it. The pro. They probably just thought that looks cool. Unless yeah, there's some deep cool. meaning behind the octopus, then someone can let us know in chat, but... Yeah. I'm guessing it just kind of looked interesting, and we just they just wanted to fit. Yeah. Because then there's other teams, like... Other teams. <laughs> there's just other um, teams? That uh, one of their owners rhymes with... Don't, don't, hey. don't go shit-talking more people on my stream, okay? We don't, we don't need this. We really well, don't. these people deserve it. No, no, we're not. No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute you before you say it. Fine. Um, he has Den in his name. Why do Why do you think that? Uh, why, well, I mean, like Team Liquid has nothing, nothing to do with horses, right? And the, their logo is a horse. Is it logo? I didn't even know. That. Yeah, the logo is a horse. There's no. It doesn't like. What does Team Liquid have to do with horses besides that one stay of the game episode? Oh, it is a horse. Yeah, I didn't know that. Never mind. That's pretty funny. Okay, it looks like it's yeah. It, yeah, that's true. Like it's cool. they're, they're, it, it looks cool. It's just there's yeah. no reason for it to be a horse if you're thinking Team Liquid. To be fair, Root is a Root, which is perfect. Yeah, Root Root does make sense. Did he just kill his own fucking unit? Where? I think he just killed his unit with the rocks. Oh, that's possible. If you yeah. attack the rocks with a with a, Zer of a group of Zerglings, one always dies. Unless they change that. It used to be like that always. Like it, yeah. one would always get caught and die. <laughs> Uh, but it looks like Kalos is gonna try to go for a push here. It's a little scary. He's gotta like make sure he drops these sea shanks early enough to like get him in position. Oh, he's gonna okay, he's dropping there. That, that was a little scary. I was a little Jeez. bit afraid he was gonna go a little too far in. Oh, uh, they're up. They're he up. Just yeah. got him the top. And he's gonna he try to. Load the zealots. Oh, don't don't but wanna walk into the storms though. Storm. There are but... a lot of storms here for uh for Kaida, so yeah. he needs to leapfrog these sea shanks in and then move the, the marines. He he's got to, he has to do this correctly. It's a little bit scary if he doesn't. So Kalos is gonna play this nice and nice and easy, I think. It's gonna be uh, the way the name of the game here. Oh my god, the carcass. This void ray is gonna be in a really good position on the side here. He's gonna take out at least one of these sea shanks. Oh, but those immortals are not in a great position. They can take a lot of damage as soon as they come out of the uh, the robot facilities. Oh you didn't nice. kill the void ray. Oh, oh there got it. Wow, that was really good micro. Yeah, nice nice dodge there from uh, the storms as well. I love how he's playing this like it's Z V T. I mean but yeah, they have siege tanks. Oh yeah, this is like a slowly move. Leap and frog his way in. Oh, immortal down. Oh, that oh, storm though was not good. Oh, <laughs> yeah, ew, that storm was disgusting. That okay, that one hurt. That 
Oh, fourth base going down for Kaidos. But the problem for the, for Kaidos right now is he's just eating these tank shots for free. He does get that big storm, but he's just he can't run into the siege tank line. There's too many siege tanks. But he does oh, zone out the Marines that was and really good storms. Yeah, the the Marines uh, the storms did zone out the Marines and let the siege the yeah. Zealots get on top of the siege tanks and Kaidos does have to put get pushed back. Yeah, and the yeah. army That's nice. is massively in favor. Yeah, that was a nice uh, um. Kaidos. Nice hold there from Kaidos. He Kaidos had it for a while there, and then he just got zoned out a little bit by the the army of Kaidos, and he was able to get his his zealots on top of the siege tanks, and that was like that was it, because the army was too far left, and that that one big storm that cleared out like half the marines was huge, because he didn't have enough to buffer for the tanks. Yeah. Oh, and, and his rally is still coming. Die for free. Oh, the siege tank isn't siege either, and he's got to run back. This is a very troubling attack. Yeah, there's too many charge dots here. I think. Oh, that storm. Uh, Immortal's gonna die. The Immortal's be very brave. Very uh, brave Immortal. Their base is gonna be absolutely sacrificed. Yeah, sacrificial lamb. Ooh. Uh, yeah, Kaidos is in a really good position. I think he just had better tech. He just, he just, the... Kaidos had to do a lot of that push, right? He couldn't let his siege chains get caught out like they did. Oh, yeah. these, these SCVs uh, uh, are unfortunately uh, going back to mining. Uh, Coast was uh, not clear yet. But, um... Yeah, it looks like he's Kaido Kaido has two one. Yeah, the upgrades are also hugely in his favor. For some reason, Allen doesn't like to make upgrades. I guess we don't. We're no, just not, we we're like not big All fans. <laughs> but uh, it looks like Kaido actually wants to turn around and go back home. He doesn't feel like he has enough army to kill right now. I guess, I guess he didn't have a war prison to reinforce his army, so he just like it petered out a little bit. But he does, in fact, also take the gold base, so went ahead, get more ahead, right? Yep, and Wagon says in chat, Void Rays are cool. <laughs> void Rays are pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, happy started that, following you. That is so many high Templar with like almost full energy. Yeah, that's scary. And it's a lot of Immortals too. Yep. Or four. Charge Lot, Storm, Immortal, pretty good against uh, Marine Siege Tank. Marine Tank. Yeah. And he's going to get plus one attack, but that's really not going to do anything. Yeah, if Kaido's just attacked now, he would win. Um, Storm is very good. You gotta be good at splitting your units. Yes, yes you do. Um, but if there's... If, if Kaido's gives Kaido's enough time, he might be able to come back in this, but... Nope. I don't think he's gonna give him time. And also, the Marines aren't near the siege tanks. The siege tanks get caught out completely unprepared. Un, uh, and no more siege tanks means no more splash damage. It means it's just marines versus storm and charge lot. I think this might oh, be it. These storms are gonna be disgusting. Callus lets him right up into his main base, into his natural, and there's some more storms. And he's Callus finds himself attacking up a ramp into his own natural. Kind of awkward. Very awkward. Oh, that storm! Oh. It's all the marines, oh. all the medivacs, and I think this will this will probably do it. And there is GG. Kaido's very well played. Yeah, Kaido's takes game number two. The Gosu, because he's not he he's not good enough to be born Gosu. Gosu. He's just he's just a Gosu. <laughs> very nicely played. All right, next is my practice partner, my lover. It is Purge. What am I hockey? Oh, there it is. I can't remember what my hockey's were. Purge. Okay, the octopus logo was made because of an emoji we used a lot, and it was something that we liked. Also made jokes that the octopus has so many arms that we would make him go so if he played StarCraft, and made jokes we played like we had eight arms. All right, I like it. Why not? Uh, it makes sense. I I'll like take it. it. I'll take it. It's better. It's better than nothing, you know. <laughs> yeah. You remember uh, who was called the the, uh, the octopus back in the day? I don't know. Lean octopus, man. Oh, it was Lee Noctopus. Because yeah, he was yeah. playing, playing like really the, well right now too. he played like he had eight arms. He was all over the place. Yes. I remember that. Can someone explain me? Predator Esports. What the hell are you? Purge, right? Next. Uh, Predator Esports is definitely not American because they're speaking Spanish. I mean, he's Mexican. I know, but it doesn't. Yeah, so it's just a. Doesn't mean it has to be Spanish. Oh, we got Purge or, Colt. All right, this is the the marquee matchup, I believe. The purge. world, the is he world famous. Purged or will he purge? All I can think about is that stupid movie. You know, I've never seen purge. any of the Purge movies. Yes, I have. You've seen them? Are they? Are they? I feel like the concept's okay. okay, but I feel like the execution has always been shit. 
Some of them are okay. I've right, only seen right. one of them. The one that I saw was pretty But I haven't seen a bunch of them. They're actually not bad movies. Yeah, not. And I, I feel, like okay, here, here's here's my opinion on them. I think I think they're probably really good mindless. I just want to see some crazy shit movies. Right? Is that is that about right? Yeah, probably. And yeah. it's not that scary. It's like a thriller, but not a thriller, because it's really not a thriller. It's okay. All right, scary enough to be a thriller. It is an interesting premise. Obviously, it would be retarded if we had a day that we could just do anything we wanted. <laughs> but it's interesting. It's kind of like Death Note, like in that, like the same kind of premise when it comes to like, there's no way we would ever have a Death Note, but it would be really I mean, cool. And yes. interesting. It's like an interesting idea. Sure. Because it is like, well, Death Note isn't, but Purge is like, not like it could happen, like the very small, very tiny chance, but you know, it's not completely out of the realm. Jesus do we, Christ. Do we, do we want to repeat maps? I don't really care, but. Um, Alright, I guess we're repeating maps. Dude, Ultralisk is playing out of his fucking mind. Uh, what's he doing? He's playing loud. He's won his last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's won nine of eleven. How 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 long are each of these games? <laughs> uh, not long. Oh, we get lost in time. Five minutes. Uh, four minutes. <laughs> five minutes. Four minutes. minutes. He's, he just he just twelve one thirteen twelve in. Good old ultralist. Eleven minutes. <laughs> Fifteen. Oh no, some of them were long. Oh, he's minutes. got some back games that are good for him. Good for him. Yeah. I would expect you'd just be doing some like twelve hatch ling flood bullshit because you know that's that's all shows in a nutshell. Oh look, it's a TVP! Yay! Yeah, I know. I knew it was a TVP. I'm trying to think who played Cold Town in the last game in the last uh, series. I, I wasn't here. I wasn't here for that. Was it Purge? No. It was, quiet? The, it was the Ace, it might have been right? Quiet. Yeah, it was Quiet. I think. Yeah, because yeah. I think I. I, I yeah, it was quiet version. version. Yeah. yeah. And Purge is better than quiet. That'll be interesting. Let's find out. I don't know. Quiet's got some like ridiculous potential, though. Yeah, he does. But uh, you can tell he doesn't know the map. Purge. As a Terran player. I beat a Z yesterday. Purge is a deep philosophical movie. All right. I haven't seen these movies, OK? Maybe there is some deep philosophical shit in these uh, movies. I don't know. They look like Everybody they look like popcorn movies. Drum, I would not die. I have the the Jew, just like in Beer Fest. Why? Why do you just keep assuming that like being Jewish will give you advantages? Yeah, I don't. Or That's or disadvantages. I don't know. It's, yeah. Uh, what do you mean advantages? It's also disadvantages. Right. Um, in the we're, not, we're not getting into that, okay? Huh? We're not getting into disadvantages or advantages about being Jewish because I don't feel like getting Twitch banned. Um, you're the one. You're the one that brought it up. Because you you, um, you said because right. I have the Jew. That's not go. Just the go. Introduce the... introduce Perch. It's in the movie Beer Fest. Anyway, in okay. the top right we have the green Terran, my lover. It is all in Perch. All right, and in the bottom left hand corner, finishing up the Christmas themed game, the Red Protoss. It is called Terran, world famous Avillocaster. Okay, can we just can we just say something? What? Freaking. I think I Love Cake is um, ethereal. Yeah, it is. He's, yes. He says, dude, I'm kind of scared of meeting with Ribeye. Like, Ribeye <laughs> is like, eh. How is that a reason? He's like, eh? I don't know. He's like, eh. I mean, do you describe you know yourself you? as eh? You're like, uh. Anyway. <laughs> okay. I feel, I feel like this is just us arguing with Twitch chat two minutes in the past for the entire <laughs> cast. I thought you were Diamond One Thoughts. Uh. All right, so per, uh, Colterran's gonna come in here and poke away at them some of these SCVs, get a scout off, spot the gas Wag. timings. Wow, wagon! I actually um, in the tournament wanted to play Steps of War last night and then it let me. Um, Throwbacks. All right, so he comes in and sees the uh, single refinery, sees the single barracks. Purge well, throws up two more barracks, maybe. A barrack, two more barracks. Yep. So Purge, yeah, I feel like, as a player who has a lot of one base builds, right? Oh yeah. Oh, are we are we in game beat, are we in game three or are we game four? He beat next. Yeah, like we're in game three, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying like he 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 has these builds that are very very crisp, and he can take out really good players with them. So I'm 
curious to see which one of them he's gonna use this time. Because <laughs> I don't know if I've played it. I've never, I don't know if I've cast a game of Purge and he hasn't done some sort of one base TVP build. And I've seen a lot of them. Also, I always catch cast Purge playing versus Protoss. I don't know why. Like, almost all of them. But that's. Hmm. Alright, so Purge can come down and take a look at the natural. He's gonna see the natural. Uh, why are we, why are we shouting Nano? Here he sees the natural, gonna go up into the main base and spots the Adept. The Adept's gonna try to deny some scouting and. He gets juked out, sort of. So he spots the first gas. He almost gets surrounded by some Good. pros. Sees the other so gas, and he's gonna, oh, oh, and oh, he gets he a pro. Gets a what a champion! Down, he might have, no, he's no, he's gonna get killed by the stalker. But yes, pretty good for what he could. What what he was trying to do there. So this has got to be more than pressure because he's not even making a base. Yeah, I'm telling you, Purge has these really good one base all in builds that you, that catch you off guard. Oh, I want Purge in my group so bad. <laughs> we we go actually we go pretty even in our games. Because we both cheesy as balls. But is your cheese counter his cheese? That's really it. It's a coin flip. Is it though? Oh, I guess it is. I don't, know. I don't know what his ZBT cheese is. Or TV. Actually, features. I don't think he goes that cheesy in ZBT. I don't know if he really can. Because, like, once you scout the lings like he doesn't have a base, you just, like, you make a shit in the lings and it stops basically everything. Dude, last night I faced in the. Uh, no, in the quarterfinals, I faced fucking a guy who went, um, the Cyclone. One base cyclone um, hellbed all in, and I figured out how to stop it. After face it's play, it's so. pretty scary. Yeah, I know. You and everyone's like, and even the cast are watching the game afterwards. You should have went roaches. I'm like, no. You go banelings, and you shit all over their hellbats, and then you win. You also make spines. That uh, that nuke spray is so annoying. It's just just saying. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right, so Purge is gonna go push across with a, a decent. Bio for us here. If there's three barracks up, he's he's accumulated a pretty good amount of units, and he's gonna have stim finishing up. So it's a little stim timing attack to see if he can get some damage in. And no, we also have map called Terran's got a couple of stalkers, a couple of depths, and a couple of sentries. The sentries are gonna probably be the key here. Do they yes. have guardian shield? They have guardian shield and a couple of forest fields. So without any medevacs, yeah, without any medevacs here, I don't think if, if micro correctly, Colt shouldn't be able, shouldn't take too much damage here with that um, full shield battery as well. Two full shield batteries. Yeah, I think hmm, Purge is just gonna leave. Yeah, I think Purge looks in, sees the immortal, sees the two shield barrier, and realizes, no, nah, I can't get anything down here. I'm, I'm going back home. Which is, Bye. I think, the correct, the, the correct decision here. Go back home, yes. live the fight another day. Don't, don't overcommit into this. Of this uh, yeah, I mean, he, he did a very aggressive opening to try to get some damage, and he's got nothing. Yeah, he has no tech either. So. Yep. So does, he, does he have a robo at all? I mean, a robo, a factory. A factory is just He's starting up now. Building it, so it's a scary moment for him. Um, what's the tech on Colt's side? He's got a trolley council about to finish, and let's see what he goes with this. I'm guessing charge, right? Charge. Agilat. Agilat. No. But he's gonna do try to do his own pressure, uh, do some pressure of his own. But I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to. If there's bunkers at the front going down, there's one going down at the front now. That's a lot of bio. That um. It's a lot easier to play defensively with shield batteries, but when you're going into that much bio with a bunker, it's going to be a bit trickier. Um, Sentry's gaining a, b a bit of energy, but uh, yeah, he's, he's going to turn back, home, turn back home. He realizes... Cold Terran sees everything! Yeah, he, he, ch he took a look at that observer and realized that's that's a that's lot a of bio. Lot of <laughs> we're, gonna, we're not going to go for that. That's a lot of little human beings with guns. Yep. Um, don't have enough. So Colt is please. going... For the glaives of upgrade and also for robotic space, so I'm not sure if this is going to be Colossus or it's going to be Disruptors. I'm going to guess Colossus because actually I don't know I why think I guess Colossus. knows he's behind, and this is really smart of him. If he can get there and start and attack him before Disruptor comes out, I'm guessing it's the Disruptor. Uh, yep, Disruptor. He could this is uh, this is hard. Actually, there's two Immortals. I don't think he can win this. And the disruptor's gonna get out probably just as he starts attacking. Um, but if he dodges it, well, there's three immortals. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this. I, I think Colterran has this in the bag. Yeah, this got. Yeah. Th also, there's no medevacs, which is. Yeah, which is bad. I think I think this this push out is actually just to kill a third base. That's really it. Oh, he, he doesn't. He doesn't see the army. That. Oh, he stims in. Oh, oh that was that could have been actually way worse. Yeah, that could have been way. Because if he worse. stims up that army with no vision and then just gets. 
cut in, cut in half of the forest worlds, he would have lost all of it. Yes. But he, luckily, luckily, Cold actually said, no, go away, um, instead of cutting in half. I think he half. tried to do it, he just did it a little too early. Maybe, I don't yeah. know. Cold Town is very solid. Yeah, he's... he's to make... be fair, I think you learned something from streaming all these pros. I mean, if you watch enough pro players, you start getting better, right? <laughs> yes, I agree with you. Um, where are the medevacs? Sorry, we got one medevac on Purge. I'm getting a couple more. I watch our, I, how do you think I got worse? I watched all of our team. Yeah, if we watch a bunch of all-in streamers, you just get shitty and salty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, fucking Wagon and Drum and Doom, Jesus Christ. Actually, okay, if you watch Wagon, you have you have the issue where you play really weird yeah. strats that seem to work for him and don't work for anyone else. Okay, that's that's and a different I'm just, issue. I'm obviously just kidding. <laughs> I'm just that's, kidding. that's a whole different issue. It's just Wagon yes. having, like, natural skill and being able to do stupid Purge. trolling stuff. No! Oh, Purge is not home away. for this. There you go. He's gonna come back home. Oh, but he's gonna step right into this disruptor. Oh, oh ooh, that hurts. Actually, that wasn't terrible. There is. But... He's gonna, oh, oh, that was not good force The force fields. are not great. Those are better. Uh, but yeah, too many immortals. Uh, can he fight too this? Too much stuff. Uh, the Resident Glaze is doing so much for him right now, and just... None of the immortals went down, the Destroyer stayed up. The, the heart of his army stayed alive, and I think Purge is... Purge is a bit dead. Yeah, he's just a bit dead. Oh, Disruptor shot. Oh, Disruptor shot. And, oh, Disruptor shot. Yep. Ugh. Natural base. I love you to pieces. Fort Negs. Uh, Fort Negs. I believe in the man with yeah, the gun. Yeah, and Kelt's gonna pop up base Cold and purge. Beast. Yeah, Kelt. Kelt, well that was solid. Man. I don't that's know if that's like. Player. Here's the thing. I don't know if that's a normal um, PVT opener or anything, but it countered the shit out of. Um, I, Cold Town is like the definition of just solid. Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying like his opener was had so many units in it that I don't know if yeah. it's a standard opener, which I think a standard open probably loses to purge's attack, right? I guess. Uh, yes. Or, or at least da some damage happens because they don't, they don't have as many units. But the two shield batteries and the immortal and the two um, sentries just made it, just negated everything. Just nothing could happen. Absolutely. All right. Where do we got next? What do we got next? We got, uh, it's Jenison, right? That's his name. Is he in this chat? I don't even know. Be here. Jenna TV, dude. Uh, to can you add him? Cause I don't even have him. Oh, there we go. And who's on their side? Oh, so who's who's actually playing for them? I don't know. <laughs> uh, let me see who I have. You you should play the ace match versus someone. I I'll know. play an ace match. It's fine. It'll be quick. <laughs> either way, I'll either lose quickly or win quickly. Wagons at work, drums on. Stove. Who the hell is stove? Oh, he's not here. Okay, I'm like. <laughs> no, it's not it, stove. In, it's not stove in this. It's um. It's, it's stove a. Uh, something else. Uh, hold on. I was oh, wondering if stove was like a, like a keyword, like a. A secret phrase or something like there, there's no story. Fortnite. His name is. What's his name? Uh. K R X S O. K R X. Oh, oh game life. Game life is his we'll, name. We'll see. We'll see if he shows up. I was playing OSU. Not that OSU. Oh, he was playing OSU. <laughs> OSC? Did he win? Did he lose? OSU? I don't know. Can you, like, it, OSU is basically like, uh, just a rhythm game, right? So, so you either complete the song or you fucking fuck it up. Uh -huh. Also, I feel like OSU is a game that, like, destroys your wrists as much as StarCraft does. Mm-hmm. You wanna just... take off the two minute? What? You wanna take off the two minute or no? I mean, let's just leave it for now. I don't care. Because then I have to change the... Then the VOD gets cut in half, and then just... There we go. 
Heated stove. <laughs> He's coming. His name is Heated Stove. That's I don't know. That's a great name, actually. <laughs> it is a great name if it is. Hey, for Ace, I have Yeezus at Diamond One. All right, I'll play. Oh, he he's got the no CC. Formerly yeah, Masters good. a few seasons ago. Uh, I mean, I'm probably gonna lose, but I'll play. Okay, I'll play if we get there. Uh, <sighs> Heated Stove is his name. Greatest name ever. Greatest name ever? I don't know about that, but it's a pretty good name. Great name. Greatest name ever. Now, now you gotta be thinking about it. What is the greatest name you've ever seen on StarCraft? Or any online name? I can't think of one. There are so many good ones. Uh, what maps do we not play? I don't know. Whatever Fortnite wants. Or just pick one. Step of war. 16 bit, acid, darkness, and redshift, right? Yeah. Is Jesus. I wonder what, what race does Jesus play? Is Protoss, I think? I'm like fairly confident it's Protoss. If I'm wrong, sorry. But I'm if fairly it's Protoss, confident it's Protoss. That wouldn't be a bad thing. All right, we're going to acid. Or, well, actually, it's his choice. Okay, he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> I was like, it's not really his choice, but we're just we're just doing it. Yeah. I feel like Cold Town. If you actually put a lot of time, a decent. Would he be good? Yeah. Oh, he's already good. But obviously, he's. Casting. Is he full time casting right, now? So are, are we are we are we hit that do we hit that point where he's E famous enough that we could like Does he require a um a fee to, to come cast events? I, uh, uh listen to my podcast. I don't know, your podcast is long. <laughs> listen to it at work. But I'm listening to other stuff at work. Oh my god. All right, let's like let's like the players in here. Let's see if we do it. All right, Jesus though is ready. Jenison ready? He's ready. So is he Jenison yep. or is he Fortune Eggs or is he what is he? I don't know. We're going with Jenison, okay? Because we're going to go with Jenison because it's much easier. Also, Jenna Sin sounds like a great porn name. It probably it, is a point star. Does. It definitely probably is. I'm not Googling that right now, obviously, but um, you guys can do that in your own free time. Why is my hotkeys for OBS not working? Whatever. All right, so God Quail told me that I didn't say. So now I'm not going to say the other part of the name just to annoy. What? In the bottom right, we have the pink Protoss. It is Jenison TV. Oh, that, oh, scores. Okay. All right, in the top left hand corner, we have. <laughs> Playing for Born Gosu, it is not a cold stove, but it is a heated stove. I don't know. I don't know what I was going for with that. It was. Yeah. I would hope the stove is heated. I mean, it could be like one of those conduction stoves where it just get oh, conduction. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Convection. <laughs> convection. Sorry. Convection. That was what I was. It was a consult. It was a consulting. I don't know. Yeah. Sh shouldn't have went for it. Shouldn't went for it. It was a, it was a bold play for. Uh... <laughs> I have never seen either of these players play, so this should be interesting. I have not either. Oh, if that was a forge, that would have made me happy. Straight can rush real and quick. And sad at the same time. Um, no, I've been okay with it, because <laughs> it, because we we have we have a rep reputation to hold up, right? So. Go suit the fuck out of him. That was crazy. Belfazar, what's up? Thanks for the follow, man. All right, so standard stuff out of heat stove. Going with that hatch gas pool. Um, Jenison doing the normal gateway expand stuff so looks like we have normal everyday zvp at least for the start nothing really happens till the third base happens right or the we lack of third know base what can go on in this matchup it's actually i don't even know what can match up um do. not standard a lot of things happen uh but we'll, well we'll get into it when when they do happen but 
I'm expecting there will be some roaches. I'm expecting a transition out of roaches into hydralis, into lings. I'm expecting a stargate. Yeah. All that good oh, stuff. Oh, and use this if we do play, just to let you know. I am not a macro player. I'm good at Ice Army. Just letting you know. <laughs> you just give away all the strats. Okay, look at look look at Heated Stove over here going for the big the big 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 boy plays. Taking a oh gold my God. hatchery. Heated stove with the gold base. Oh, it's amazing. Cole Taran, by the way, agrees. You should you should listen to my just saying. The what? Cole, Cole Taran says you should listen to my podcast too. I I will at some point. Okay. You whore. How, how long uh, is that one? Um, that one's like forty something minutes. Okay. Yeah, the problem is like when I need to do work, I have to work on my like, coding. You actually shit. have to do work, yeah. No, 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 like when I'm coding shit, I can't listen to like lyrics. Like I can't have anything with lyrics or you know. Oh, I feel you. Words. Yeah, no. I usually like there's like five hours in my day that I could like I'm doing. All right, so has Jenison actually team? seen anything? He hasn't scouted the third base, right? So I guess he's just assuming the third base is there. And I don't see a Stargate, so he, he didn't go for that Stargate opener, so he didn't have a Phoenix or an Oracle to go scout. Is this Riser? Oh my God! He's not going he's not Stargate. Going to... It's Riser. Uh, there is the drone transfer to the gold base. Um, so I wonder what he's gonna do with this. He's gonna have more minerals, right? Obviously, and. Which means more lings. Which means either more lings or more roaches. And he hasn't taken another gas yet, so I'm don't know. I don't know yet what he's gonna do. He could do like a three base with ling something, but um, we'll see. We'll see what he decides to do with this, these extra minerals, or just you know get more get more drones and just get ahead drones economically. Are fun, fun drones are fun, fun. All right, Twilight Cancel and Robo finished. Twilight Cancel going with the charge light, so it could just be a straight charge light type of uh, pressure before anything. Um, without the Stargate, this is. This, this hits pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. A couple more gateways going down, so he's gonna be up to four gates. I think it's probably gonna get four gates, and then actually I don't, I don't know. I'm not gonna make the call yet. I haven't played in a while. I don't know either. I think. Well, he's gonna attack. He's making a war. So does the war prism go across? Like the normal war prism, like path, right? Goes to like this area to the south of the main. Is he gonna just cross over the creep in the middle with the war prism? Uh, it's gonna be. I'm curious. But like at that point, it doesn't matter because he's already gotten so much out of this gold base, right? Well, it matters. You don't want to get him anymore. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, I'm saying like, it makes it's it's already worthwhile to get the the amount of time he's mining on the gold, the rich mineral base. True. And the war prism's not going. He's going up. Uh, is he? Did he pull oh, off gas? Two war prisms. Oh, oh shit! He's going two war prisms. Uh, does he have? That's interesting. He doesn't have. See, no, I don't okay. think he's gonna see this. No, he's definitely not. He's going. He's going the long way. Yeah. He's going double warp prison though. That's really interesting. It's gonna be a lot of um. Yeah, the, the double warp prison is gonna be pretty cool because he could like attack in two different places and really uh, force the. Oh, he's gonna see this warp prison. Uh, no. Yeah, he's gonna try he's to force the multitask if he just. Oh my god, this multitasking is gonna be ridiculous. Let's see. He's got how many roaches out right now? He's got ten roaches out right now, so he should be okay as long as he does this correctly. Um. But he's gonna be very confused when he sees no third bases. Be like, what? What is going on? <laughs> yeah. But the roaches are a little out of position. They're up at the third base right now. So if he gets in here with the two um, war prisms in the back of uh, in the back of his base, I don't know if the roaches will be able to get back in time to before the you know there's a ton of damage. Third base going down. But this is basically that uh, that big plus one roach all that that was killing processes for a while. He's sitting on 44 drones and not making any more. And this is basically designed to kill the third base and then push into the natural and get as much damage as he can. And with basically just charged zealots, I don't know if he holds this. I guess he, he has an no, immortal. One immortal so. and two archons. But the, the thing is, is he's... Is Genesis going to go back home? Or, sorry, he he's got one. Out. He's got possibly one archon on this temple, these two Templar. But let's see what he decides oh, to do here. Huge attack. I don't think he's holding this. It's either no, he's saying, it's either Jenison attacks right now or he goes back home and defends. Unless he's gonna go back home and defend. <laughs> he I goes, think he just kills. I think you should just kill everything <laughs> or try to. Because the like roaches, are, the roaches are us. are way out of oh, position he's right now. Back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, that's huge. That's huge that he's making him come back. 
Yeah, but I don't know how much damage he's gonna get here. He's only killed four workers, and the roaches will eventually clear this all out. And that's a lot of roaches too, but it might give him enough time to get a, a immortals out to defend this. Yeah. It at least delayed him, which was good. And he didn't really lose Yeah, these anything. two zealots are actually doing way more damage than they should than the natural right now. Yep. Oh, he just... Oh, oh he's, he's gonna see he's it gonna now. See, well, he knows about the he gold base it. now. Did he see it? He sees the creep. Okay, so yeah, he sees it. Alright. He has two immortals. But I think... Yeah, he's got... Two more or one immortal? Where's the second immortal? Oh, that's, oh I'm sorry. That was oh, but these high temple are getting caught out of position. He loses three for basically four for basically nothing. That's gonna hurt. He those, if those are archons, maybe he has a better shot at this. But yeah. he, there's a lot of roaches, a lot of ravages here, and I don't know if he's gonna be able to hold this. This is a lot of stuff. This one archon yeah, at the yeah, wall is yeah, already so. low and gone. Only one immortal, two immortals out now, but that's oh good zell warpin. The zell warpin is nice to stop the roach from getting in, and I let's see how. Good two immortals could do. I think this might be okay with two immortals and the warp prism with the uh, warp yeah. prism like micro. He should be able to hold Ooh, off. We lost a sentry though. But it's fine. Two immortals and a warp prism hold off anything. Yeah, you got another swell of freaking roaches coming in. Oh, but that's a lot of roaches coming in now. He's gonna try, but that's that's a lot of roaches. Uh, yeah, and he's not making any units. He's just he's just microing these two immortals for with his heart. Yeah, I don't see it. Yeah, that's that's just too much stuff. The gold base was up for way too long. I mean, there's nothing in mind there now, but... If he had those Archons up, maybe he could have held that, but I don't think so. There, it helps, but there's still... It's just two Immortals versus Infinity Roaches. This build is so hard to scout. Like, and especially with the bonus of getting that gold base, you can make even more yeah. Roaches. It was a very well done play. Yeah, th this is the build that got me a Masters 2, just for the record. <laughs> I, j I just kept doing this building for us and getting all the salt in the world. Shout out to uh, Evangelion, or whatever his name is. Evangelion? He's, he's trying. He's, he's, he's marking his goddamn heart out here. He's gonna take a couple shots, but uh, it's down to 34 workers to 29. Oh, he's got 29 workers, but all the roaches in the main base are just. Not letting him mine. 31 of the workers are just oh. mining gas. And I think that should that do it. it. Probe's gonna attack. Well played, born a And there it is. GG. Jensen taps out. He is stove. Takes game number four of a cheeky little gold base play. Now we can find out if they want me. Oh, Cold it's 3 1. Left. It's 3 1. Yeah, no. Yeah. Heart. Hardy. Alrighty, I think that's it. Um, I don't think uh, Cold Terran's like gone. He's in a party with Purge at the moment. Yeah. In game with Purge. I think he's playing against Purge right now. He's doing a, a little practice action. Oh, practice action. Okay. Um, um. But yeah, I think that's it. I'll do it. So Born goes and takes it. Three to one. Yeah, Born goes and takes it three one. Very nice of them to face us three times in a matter of it, ten seconds. Is, I think I think, you gotta, I think we got to find some other clan wars because I mean this whole monogamous this whole this whole monogamous thing, thing is getting a little old. <laughs> I mean, well, we just they were good to deal with. I mean, when it when it's that good, why why go anywhere yeah, else? Right? Why change it? Yeah, no, I I also set up a couple like two months ago. Sure. All right, so uh, I guess that'll be it. I'll probably drop a host on someone when this is over. Um, Check out that matching on page. We're gonna try to drop some money on some up and coming players on all in. See if we get them to a tournament, get some experience. Yes. Um, I'll link that in the chat once this is all over. And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks for thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. We got we're up at like 30 viewers the entire time, which is really cool, especially because I haven't streamed in so long. This new job is uh, it's a lot of work. It's but painful. Painful. Alright, I'll see you guys uh, later. Goodbye. See ya.